Hey there, Smidian here, and welcome back to Marvel Legendary. Uh, I've been sick for the past week or so, so there haven't been any videos. Um, sorry about that. Still a little sick, so I might sound off and I might be, like, coughing, clearing my throat a little bit. Um, if that is a deal breaker, please skip the video. I promise nothing super interesting is going to happen, probably. Um, but I really wanted to play. And so I'm playing. And you can't stop me. One can stop me. Um, it's actually my second try um, recording this since the first time the scheme, like the setup, broke. Um, hopefully that doesn't happen this time. Alright, so. Today we're facing Maria Hill, Director of S.H.I.E.L.D. She has double S.H.I.E.L.D. clearance. And you can't fight Maria Hill while there are any S.H.I.E.L.D. elite or officers in the city. Uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. clearance means you need to discard a S.H.I.E.L.D. card to fight them. So for Maria Hill, you need to discard two S.H.I.E.L.D. cards to fight them. She always leads the S.H.I.E.L.D. elite. As to strike, two S.H.I.E.L.D. officers enter the city as three attack villains. And when you fight them, gain them as heroes. And the scheme is the last stand at Avengers Tower. Set up six twists. Twist, stack this twist above the rooftops as Stark Tech defenses. If there is an adversary on the rooftops, choose three allies from the lair and KO them. Special rules, while an adversary is on the rooftops, it gets plus one attack for each Stark Tech defenses. Good wins when there are 13 non-gray allies in the KO pile. So we need to keep the roofs clear. Uh... Yeah, keep the roofs clear, and everything will be fine. And we're also facing Murder World and the Sentinel Squad 1. We're playing as Mr. Fantastic, Quake, Joe Fixit, Grey Hulk, Peter's Allies, and Nightcrawler. Quake being here is nice for all the shield clearance stuff. Um... Because if you like run out of gray cards to discard for shield clearance, you can discard a quick card instead. Um, yeah, it should be pretty good. I'm gonna click this button. All right. Uh, I'm starting on the right side. For reasons? Oh, it's because I loaded a save while I was green player. So it started me on the right side. It's gonna confuse me, I think. Either way, we have a 3-5 split on both ends. Master Strike. Two shield officers enter the city as three attack villains. When you fight them, gain them as heroes. Okay. Good thing about this mastermind is you're gonna get a lot of recruit and can use that recruit for good things. Victoria hands really good. Probably gonna take her. Um, and I guess I'm gonna try and do like a pure quake thing on the right. This synergizes well with the other, like, Quake stuff, because it needs shield level. Quake's going to be very good in this scheme, I think. I think I'm just going to fight you, which recruits you as a hero, right? You gain it as a hero, and recruit this. Fight you for three. Fight gain it as a hero. Gonna recruit you for three. These uh, Nightcrawler cards are very. 
Got a lot of words on them, huh? Yes, that's fair. Simplicity can be good. It says shield clearance and fight a shield officer into the city as a three attack column and you fight again as a hero. I unfortunately don't have anything to take advantage of this recruit. Threaten and bribe is probably good because I'm going to be getting like a lot of random officers from the city. Being able to give any villain bribe, basically. Should be pretty good. This can't work on the mastermind, which is a little unfortunate, but I still think this should be pretty good. I really want to get these on the right. Tectonic waves. This I'm gonna hit shield level four pretty quickly, I think, so this will be a six attack card very, very soon. I don't have anything to take advantage of this stuff either. I think I'll take Bamf. It's notably not a shield card, which is a downside. But if, for instance, I draw this card but still don't have six recruit. I can teleport it to save up recruit to recruit this, um, which I think makes up for the fact that it is not a shield card. And then with two recruit, I'll buy a sidekick. Ambush. This lock captures two human shields. And reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it's a trap or a master strike, play it. A human shield is a Face down bystander, you can't defeat a villain that has any human shields, and during your turn you can pay attack equal to that villain's attack card to rescue one of the human shields at random and put it into your victory pile. Top card of the villain deck, it's a trap or master strike, play it. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Uh, two shield officers into the city's three attack villains. I need to keep the rooftops clear, but I can't fight you this turn. I think I'm going to fight this. <coughs> Sorry. If, like, a lot of coughing is extremely annoying to you, this is probably not the video to watch. Um... So I think I want to fight this officer, the Vanilla Maria Hill, so that when another villain comes out, it pushes her into this slot and is easier to fight than Miss Locke is. Um, what do I want to do with the three recruits then? I could also fight Gabe Jones. It does a similar thing, it pushes her out, but that means you'll escape, and my lose condition is KO'd allies, so I don't like that idea. I'm going to just fight you for three. Fight, gain it as a hero. With three recruit, I'm probably taking Banff. Uh, Mr. Fantastic should also be pretty decent with this scheme, or with the setup, because of all the recruit that's flying around. There's a lot of synergistic stuff going on right now, I think. That's pretty nice. Ambush. If there are no other Sentinel Squad 1s in the city, clone. Now look at this shuffle. 
right, that is not great. You have escaped, and you have escaped. You have escaped with him, so first of all, I need to KO a hero from the city. I think it's going to be blended to shadows. This just works too well with the setup. This is synergistic with the setup, and I really want these two cards on the right, so that leaves you. <laughs> Draw two cards. Good. Um, and this has escaped, which means each player needs to discard a card. Sorry, I just got into a big cough fit. So I muted myself for a little bit. Uh, Corey, this is probably a mistake, but if I feel too bad, I'll just stop and you'll never see this. So this is a Stark Tech defense. There's an adversary on the rooftops. Choose three lair allies from the lair and KO them. Well, it's got to be these three, right? Because I really, really want these tectonic waves. I'm going to actually teleport this card. to bite you for three, which gains it as a hero, and two recruit, I'm going to buy a sidekick. Ambush, a shield officer enters the city as a three attack villain, when you fight it, gain it as a hero. something from here. One gigantic hand. It's a good card. Um, don't have enough. I don't have enough Fantastic Four stuff on either side to really use it very well. <laughs> this is never transforming. I don't think anything in this setup has more than five attack. But a three attack card is just good. I'm going to get rid of one gigantic hand. Do you, human shields count as bystanders still? So I think that means I still need to discard a card. I forgot Peter's friends are in here. Five, six, seven. Can recruit this this turn. This is a problem. Uh, yeah. We recruit to play as I need to discard a shield hero. The top three cards your deck, draw one, put the rest back in any order. I should have done this first, but I didn't. This actually doesn't trigger this turn. I'm going to draw this and put her back. Buy this.
There's a lot of decent recruit synergy going on here, but I don't think I'm playing fast enough. Okay, so I need to KO three allies from the lair. This, this, this. Teleport that card. something from here. It can't be this or this. I think it's going to be one gigantic hand again. Again, one gigantic hand is a good card, but you need the trigger. Otherwise, it's a very bad card. Um, start by drawing two. Okay, I'm going to... but this is a three attack so I can't fight it this turn I'm going to play this discarding this I'm going to play these two play this to send a shield hero from my hand under cover. I'm going to buy this for six. There's the whole see a rare, buy a rare thing going on, but I think that this card is actually better than a rare. That might be wrong, but I think so. I'm going to fight you for two. And go next. Ambush if there are no other Sentinel Squad ones in the city clone. Well, there are, so. Uh, see a rare, buy a rare. And then use the three attack to fight something. <sighs> this is my loose condition, but. I think taking May Parker is just going to be really good. I'm going to choose you with Threaten and Bribe. I'm going to discard this for the shield clearance and fight you for one. I'm going to buy May Parker. By end of turn, recruit two heroes or suffer this trap enters the city as a three attack animatronic clearly clown. Villain that has that captures a human shield. Okay. Five recruits Which is enough to recruit two heroes. I think I'm not doing that though. I think I'm going to fight a sentinel because my shield level is currently one, and that would give me another sh shield under cover. <clears throat> five recruit. I don't think I care about 5 Recruit. I think I'm going to teleport this and just buy Twisting Equations. So I'm going to fight this for 2. And whenever I fight a villain this turn, if its attack is higher than your shield level, you may send a shield hero from the shield officer stack undercover. So my shield level is now 2. 
I'm gonna buy this for three. So this enters the city as a three attack animal truck killer clown villain that captures a human shield. Alright, this is another one and three more KOs. This, this, and this. Could have coordinated this card. Always forget that's a thing. Have uh, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, recruit this turn. See a rare, buy a rare, or should I should clear the city because I lose if another twist comes out. So this is six attack. I can fight it with six recruit, and then fight this to KO one of my heroes. Put this on the bottom of the villain deck. I'm going to fight Yo-Yo for 6, and gain it as a hero, 2 attack, I'm going to fight the Sentinel Squad 1, fight if there are no other Sentinel Squad 1s in the city, kill one of your heroes, put this villain on the bottom of the villain deck. Can't fight anything this turn. Can I recruit two things this turn? Yes. Um, that would stop the trap. The next card is a scheme twist and I don't stop the trap I lose. What are the chances of that happening? There's six twists. Three and twenty-five. It's pretty likely. I'm gonna buy this actually. And hope I don't immediately lose. Not immediately losing would be nice, so I have failed, so this enters the city as an animatronic killer clown and captures a human shield. Do I lose? I don't. So, clone? Human shields are equal to the villain's attack power. So this human shield costs six. It's gonna be very hard to deal with. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, to recruit, I'm going to discard this to draw a card. choose Sharon Carter with this so I can fight it with only recruit this turn. I'm going to play this recruit. I'm going to fight this for six. And I'm going to... Wait a minute, is my... Do I have any shield card? No, I don't. If I fight this, that means that if a villain comes out, these aren't getting pushed forward. I would rather leave this in so that the stuff can get pushed forward and I can fight this easier. I don't think... Yeah, I'm not going to fight it. I, th I probably am making mistakes. If 
fight this for two. I'm gonna buy this for four. Need to scrape together six attack. I forgot this is here and has coordinate. Ah! Oh my god. so bad at remembering to use coordinate. I'm probably teleporting this card. Actually, yeah, I'm not playing this yet. I want to see what happens if I recruit some stuff first. Buy this for two. Buy this for four. Buy this for two. Uh, yeah, I'm going to teleport this and hope I do not lose. I lose. I mean, there's not a whole lot I could do about that. I... This is a very, very recruit-heavy lineup. Yeah, that's so much recruit. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of the one giant hands and tried to lean into that, because that's a big attack card, but... felt right, whoops, no, come back. It felt right trying to get this stuff to work, like the sh big, big, beefy shield level attack cards from Quake, but I couldn't get them out fast enough. <sighs> Am I going to release this? It's just a loss, right? I mean, I should, as like, what's the word? I don't know, proof that I I am human and can fail, but I'd fail a decent amount of time. I just don't want to release a video where I'm doing nothing but coughing the entire time. I don't know if I sounded that bad or not, but I feel like I was coughing a lot. And Yeah, whatever, I'll release it anyways, screw it, and put like a warning, that coughing warning or something. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully next time I will be less sick. Yep, see you guys then.